Okay, so now the next theorem we're looking at is uh, okay. Let's just use a shorthand for this one. Okay, so we've we've learned this theorem now, and each time you have you, you can now use this theorem whenever you want. So whenever you see that you've got vertically opposite angles, you can use it. And um, when you use it, you have to give a reason, like we did here. And all you can write is vert op angles. Okay, so when you show that AMC is equal to DMB, and you use that fact, then you use vert op angles as a shorthand. Okay, so the next theorem we're looking at. is that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees it's called a revolution and now it's your turn to prove it so the proof I'll give you the sketch you can start with the sketch I'll give you the sketch there you go a B C D N so random sketch you can see it's similar there's the point so what we're saying is that if I add up all the angles around this point, I will get 360 degrees. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, intuitively it makes sense. Can you write a simple proof? It's again two, three lines proof. I'll show you what the to prove is. To prove, you have to prove that A, B, C plus C M B plus B M D plus D M A is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, see if you can do it. And you Sorry. I mean 360. okay so if we look at this proof it's very intuitive actually because we know that these two add up to 180 okay and those two add up to 180 or if you went and did these two and those two it doesn't matter but we know that these these angles on either side of the line add up to 180 so all of them together must then be 180 plus 180, which is 360. And we just write that intuitive sentence in a mathematical expression. So we need to say that we know that AMC plus CMB equals 180. Sorry, I um, this should actually say adjacent angles on straight line. Sorry, I forget that. Okay, and the other one is DMB plus AMD is equal to 180. Same reason. Adjacent angles on a straight line. So now to add up these two equations, I can now just take that means that AMC plus CMB equals 180 plus DMB plus AMD equals 180. So when I add all of them together, it adds up to 360 degrees. So far, very simple proofs. Okay, let's look at a little bit more complicated one.
not that much more complicated but we'll start with the definition we'll start with the definition of perpendicular now guys the definition is giving something a name if it um, obeys certain rules or if, or if it has certain characteristics now a perpendicular okay angles oh sorry not angles a line is perpendicular to another line if the adjacent angles are equal okay so if I were to to draw that okay a line is not perpendicular to another line because it's 90 degrees okay that is a, a, a result of the fact that they are so uh, uh, perpendicular in other words perpendicular means that when two lines cut each other the angle on this side is equal to the angle on that side okay now it's going to be a proof it's a theorem theorem is that perpendicular angles are 90 degrees that's a theorem we need to now again prove with what we know so far we have to prove the theorem that perpendicular angles in other words when a line cuts another line and the adjacent angles are equal this angle so far we know that vertically opposite angles are equal now we're saying the adjacent angles are also equal and if they are equal, according to this theorem, both of them should be 90 degrees. Okay, so you need to go and prove that to me. And this time I'm not giving you anything. I'll just give you the sketch. You'll use this sketch. A, B, C, D. Okay. Okay, so what do you have as your to prove? Let's just start with that first. What should we prove? That gives us the direction. What are we proving? Right. Um, you are saying that adjacent angles are equal if a perpendicular cap line cuts another line no we already know that the adjacent angles are equal okay yes we have to prove that they are 90 degrees so uh, but but that has been a mathematical expression so um, adjacent angles mm -hmm. a mathematical an expression is an equation or something I need to write. Look here what oh, are two MD. good. A M sorry, not like that. A M D ninety degrees. That's what I want to prove. Okay. Now that you know what you want to do, see if you can do Okay for time's sake I'll continue and I'll show you the way I would have proven it. I would have said that angle AMC plus angle AMD is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Adjacent angles on straight line. And then I would say, but okay I use little words like but and 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 also and things to to help the reader of my proof um, understand what I'm saying AMC 
is equal to a and d why are they equal No, adjacent angles aren't equal. Why are they equal? Good. Because AM is perpendicular to CD. So that is the shorthand for perpendicular. Is that the AM is perpendicular to CD. And now I substitute one of the two so that I have AMC, for example, plus AMC equals 180. Actually, I should substitute AMD because I'm trying to prove AMD is 90. So it doesn't matter which one you do, okay? They're equal in the end, so it doesn't really matter. But so I get that 2 AMD is equal to 180. And can you see now why I am dividing with a 2? While in the proofs that you guys did, I, you can see why I divide with a 2 because I'm trying to get rid of that 2. While when you guys divided with 4, where does that 4 come from e exactly? So that's just why I said if you showed this, and that that's actually the step that's missing in your in your argument okay but still good proofs okay so there I've shown that AMD is then equal to 90 degrees